will seek me early. In their affliction, they will seek me early. All those bodies that dropped on the 4th of July, all those bodies that dropped on the Hajj over there in, in, in Mecca, listen, you seek the Most High God, He got your back. But you go against the Most High God, He got to eat turn His back on you. And He left you for the wolves. And those wolves are, are, are so-called white man, the Arab man, the Indian, the East Indian man, all these other nations, these are the wolves. And they destroy you on the daily, selling you drugs, alcohol, liquor, right? All matter of tobacco, right? Things that are haram in their so-called so religions, but they give them to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans like it's, like it's candy. Exactly, have you looked at just like him? Wasted away. I Joshua. Esau, the so-called white man. Right? Isaiah 47 to 1. Just, just for him, because that that's a beautiful sight. I love to see that. I love watching that on the Market Frankfurt line. <laughs> <laughs> Needles still in their arm. Right? Doodle stains on the back of their trousers. <laughs> Read that. Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. Right? Come down and sit in the dust. What's happening with this man? Come down and sit in the dust. This man is coming down and sitting in the dust. He used to be on top of everything. He used to be that proud American. Right? Read it. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon. Uh -huh. Virgin daughter of Babylon. And the so called white man is the person that runs the virgin daughter of Babylon. Go ahead. Sit on the ground. Do what? Sit on the ground. America's coming to a crash and halt. The dollar is garbage. Right, that 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 so-called Fourth of July parade is not so it's not so prideful anymore. Y'all not as happy as y'all used to be. I don't see too many flags waving out there nowadays. All right. Read on. Nah, old virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. Ain't no throne for you. You ain't getting no no type no scepters. Ain't no thrones. Ain't no jewels. Ain't nothing but whips and chains coming for you and, and perpetual work from sun up to sun up. You're lucky the most high God gave you the Sabbath all because we work your ass like you work us. We would damn sure work you like you work us. You work us, you, you, you send us home for four hours. You think you can come in tomorrow? It's your day off. You think you come in tomorrow? All your plans out the window. That's how they do it. Because we would damn sure work you just like that. But you're lucky the Most High had mercy and said, listen, I give him the Sabbath. I'm going to tell you this, though, after the Sabbath is over, as, as, soon as, that, as soon as that moon come up, you right back to work. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's going, it's going to be a whole thing, man. I'm going to have, have people blowing the trumpets. It's, it's Saturday night. You say going to go, <laughs> the going to go throughout the night. No, it's Saturday night. It's 9 o'clock. Where's your work is at? <laughs> right. Look at Romans 6 and 23. Because y'all keep forgetting about the Most High God, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's why you're dying the way you're dying in these streets. Right. Right. That's the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Right. For the wages of sin is death. What are the wages of sin? Is death. When you're sleeping with your best friend's wife? It's death. Man, that's death. The wages of sin is death. Right? But you do everything to, 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 or to get yourself prepared for that death. You do everything to get yourself ready for that death. You lie. You steal. You, you, like, you have sex with your brother's wife. Right? You want to be the best homosexuals? You want to be transmogrifiers and transformers? Right? You want to be the best Juneteenth person you could be? And then go celebrate the 4th of July with your, with your oppressor? Right. And you yeah, still ain't free? But you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, y'all don't, y'all destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right, let me go to Leviticus 26, show you some of these sins, man. So you show you some of these things that y'all like to do that gets you put to death. Yeah. 
And Leviticus 26 is the same thing as Deuteronomy 28. It's just stated before Deuteronomy 28 pops up in your Bible. Right? Let's start at 1. Could you read that through 3? Book of Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 1. Right? You shall make you no idols. What, what, what should the so-called black Hispanic and Native American man not do? Make you no idols. You shall make you no idols because the most high God is the only one and true God. You read that when you read Deuteronomy 6 and verse 4, right? Grab that for the people real quick. Grab that for us, right? Sure. Yeah, Deuteronomy 6 and 4. You shall make no idols. There should be no Kaaba stones. There should be no white Christ around your neck. No Caesar Borgia pieces. Call about calling that man Jesus. That's a travesty, man. That's blasphemy. That's a sin within itself that you can't repent for. That absolutely deserves death. Bring that out. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Right. Hear, O Israel. Go who? O Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all are the Israelites. Y'all are the true people of the Bible. Not those, not those A-cup, broad-wearing hat Jews in the, over in your land. Right? Read on. The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is one Lord. He's the only God of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. And you're supposed to love the Most High God, read. With all thy heart. With all thy heart, go ahead. And with all thy soul. And with all thy soul. And with all thy might. And with all thy might. This is to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, read. And these words which I commanded thee this day uh -huh. shall be in thine heart. Shall be where? In thine heart. So these, these words are supposed to be bottled up in your mind. You're supposed to keep these things in mind. But you've lost your minds in America following after your oppressor, right? Following after Becky right here. You've lost your damn minds. You know? And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And you're supposed to teach these to your children. Nowadays it's 10 o'clock at night and your children are still outside. And then you wonder why they don't make it home. You wonder why they're in the cop car. In my day, if that street light came on and your ass wasn't on that, on that porch, you, you wasn't going to sit down for a little while. They'd get you coming right out the shower. I told you behind to get the, <laughs> right? But nowadays, it's 12 o'clock and your kids are still outside. And you wonder why your daughters are, are coming home pregnant. Flash mobs. Yeah, flash mobs and, and they want to hit the wild wild and then they want to tear all up and down Aramingo Avenue on, on damn dirt bikes and, and slingshots and and then you, you think it's, it's it's crazy man growing up when we grew up you get a listen man let my father catch you like that you get a, a shot straight to the chest straight straight punch to the chest I told you I had to be here when that street light come on where was you at that's after the shot <laughs> Right, right. Go back to what you spoke. <laughs> see, see that? <laughs> right? Leviticus uh, uh, 26. 26 and verse 1. Yeah. The top. It says, Ye shall make you no idols nor graven image. You should make you no idols nor graven image. There should be no ox. There should be no 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 uh no crosses. Right? No Caesar Borgia pieces who you call Jesus Christ. Right? No eyes of Horus. Right. No no little no little boxes there. It's my cobblestone, right? It's my cobblestone. I wear that. There should be none of that. Right, read on. Uh, neither wear you up a standing image. Neither do what? Wear you up a standing image. All those busts that they got in the Hall of Fame, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, all the statues they got around these cities, and Christopher Columbus in South Philly. All that is garbage. Most high God said you can't even erect no statues to yourself. Read on. God. It says, Neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land. Neither shall you what? Set up any image of stone in your land. So there should be no statues at all amongst you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Right? Any more on that? Go ahead. God, to bow down unto it. To do what? To bow down unto it. And ain't that what y'all do with the cobblestone? Ain't that, do, ain't that what you do with your, with your cross? want to go and bow down to it it's a damn idol man the most high god said i'm the only one the true god you bow down to me 
You don't bow down to no wood and no stone. Right? Got more? For I am the Lord your God. I am Yahweh. That's what he said. I am Yahweh, your power. You so called black suspended snake Max. He, the most high God is that dude, man. He's that boy, man. He sits on the throne of fire. Who you know sitting on the throne of fire? Who is that bad, man? The most high is show enough. He's the baddest. Right? It's preset, but. So look at Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. Uh huh. It says, The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is a man of war, read. Yahweh is his name. Yahweh is his name. That's the most high God's name, Yahweh. And the son, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, listen, he, he's a beast with it too, man. He slayed all the firstborn to eat. He about to come back and do that with America too. God. Read on. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 24. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire. Is a what? Consuming fire. The most high God is a consuming fire. A consuming fire. That's the only way we're going to cleanse this damn wicked ass place called America. It's going to have to be an all consuming fire. And there's going to be a sun coming down setting that place ablaze. Right? Read on. Even a jealous God. Even a what? Jealous God. And you know what I'm saying? That's how you know that's our God, man. I was just on the phone with my brother earlier this week. I was like, yeah, you know how Ephraim get down, man. They be jealous as hell over their people. They wives, man. They, they husbands. They get jealous. Yo, she, uh, what? I see something. Where? With what? Oh, I'm going to cut that. <laughs> they be jealous, man. And it's funny because because Jake be like that too on the low. He just try to be cool about it. So of course he's our God, man. He's a jealous guy. Yo, who's this other nigga you bringing over here? Because if y'all, when y'all read the scriptures, you realize that the Most High God is married to Israel. His son is married to Israel, and y'all stepped out on the Most High. Y'all stepped out on the Most High God. Y'all want to go and mess with other lovers with with, with our law and Islam. Y'all want to mess up and go and deal with Unks and and Ra. Y'all want to go out there and mess around and, and deal with white Jesus. He said, yo, y'all left me. I, I had you. Everything you needed, everything you wanted, I had it right here. But you want to run off with them? All right, well, listen, I'm going to leave you to that. I'm going over here. I'm going to go sit over here and chill over here until you realize what you missed. They, what they say, you never know, you, you never know, what, you you never know what you had until it's gone. Now you so-called blacks and Spanish Native Americans starting to realize what you had. But you still don't understand what you got to do to come back to the, to the good graces of the Most High. You got to pick up this book and read it. And then after you read it, apply what you read into your life. Right? You got a precept? Nah. Go ahead, bring it up. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 16. Uh-huh. says they provoked him to jealousy. They did what? Provoked him to jealousy. It's like, it's like that little kid when you're growing up, you know, keep poking you. Right, and you, you 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 be cool at first, but he keep poking you and poking you. He's like, yo, what? You provoking the man? You provoke the Most High to jealousy and wrath. Read on. God, they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. With what? Strange gods. With strange gods. With strange gods. Our law is strange. White Jesus Christ is, is strange. Buddha is strange. Shiva is strange, right? All these other gods, which are no gods.